Yo, 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 it's Service the Bear, and we're back again with our part two of our Risen Evil Village Let's Play. Just a quick recap on what happened previously is we were happily in our house. We put Rose to bed. We came back downstairs to eat with the missus. People armed blew the missus away. She's now dead. Uh, we found out it's Chris and his goons. They've taken our child. I had been bundled away in this van. As you can see, that's now completely knocked off the road. And this sad son of a bitch is now dead. And I'm in the middle of nowhere. I have nothing on me whatsoever, really, to be honest. Other than a map and a journal. Yeah, okay, switch pages, blah, 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 using S and W. Ooh, look, briefing, and the diary side. So, I don't know, I just pick my nose. <laughs> it should have been a night like any other, but Chris Redfield came in and destroyed our family. He took Earls away, shot Mia right in front of me. I was knocked out, and... Now I'm in some forest in the middle of nowhere. What the hell is going on? So pretty much what I've just basically said, except more for detail. Okie dokie. All right. So let us plot on. So as you can see, this that I'm looking down at the ground, by the way, is my torch. I have physical no way of moving that torch anywhere else what if I kind of try and use my arrow keys? Okay. Somehow, we are going to have to traps our way through this area. Okay, so following what appears to be people walking through the snow. Or somebody has walked through the snow. I can't really tell, because if I look forward, it's dark. I stare right down at the ground, I can see. Something's here. Well, I'm in the woods, so it's probably just an animal. Then again, we are... What? Do not enter. Maybe I should just turn around and go back. Ah, I'm just going to turn around and go back. Wait. No. Let's go forward. Got crouch. Touch it. Got me plenty of room. Okay, I press C. We're standing back up. What's that? That appears to be a rock face. Okay. It appears to be the fence thing. What made the Rockies fall down? Is there something I can take from here? Oh, it appears to be bird feathers. Rockies, you fell down from here. <sighs> now, I enjoyed the first Resident Evil. I liked it. I was only... Back on the... PlayStation 1, so long ago. Ooh, dead bird. Ew. What am I saying? Ew. I'm a person that would be going, hey, look, there's a bone sticking out of this body. Touch, touch, touch. I enjoyed the first one. Like I said, there, and. Oh, God. A lot more dead bodies. Bird, birds. 
Well, it's still kind of a body scenario. There is definitely something here. I heard some sort of growling. The fuck was the, the, the fu fucking hell? Ew. I'm getting myself turned around. Oh my god. Let's go this way. Just, we just stare at the ground. We don't need to look at anything. Fuck, 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 There was something there. There was something there, and it's killed the bird. Definitely killed the bird. Definitely killed the bird. <sighs> I can't see fuck all, man. Something over there has been highlighted by the little markers. What is this? Is there anything I can pick up? Anything? Oh, the door is a door. Someone's definitely not been living in here for a while. Maybe. Duh. That looks like possible horse brushes. What's that? Ooh, potatoes. Potatoes. I don't love me potatoes. And just so you know, I'm part Scottish and Irish. More Scottish than Irish, though. My accent does change, which is kind of frustrating. <laughs> I heard that. Let's just gingerly open that there. Anything? Anything? Nothing? Yeah. Not even us. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find any guns in here. <laughs> nope, we're going down. Can, can I take this? this? That ain't creepy at all. That ain't creepy at all. Actually, it is definitely creepy. That's like a door. That is. I can open it. And then mash the F button like a crazy person. Anything? 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 There's a shit ton of garlic, though. It's a 
vampires and possibly. All right, I'm gonna press the right button here. There we go. I'm not particularly too sure who this is. Although now I just get the perfect shot. Somebody of some sort of importance, religious importance, possibly cult, maybe. Like I said, I haven't played other, any of the other Resident Evils except number one. What the heck is that? As I casually brush off the falling planks. Not scared, just on edge, as I would say. My paranoia is already kind of going. There's blood in this. Oh, just a tiny little rat rat. Again, nothing to pick up. Umbrella. This torch is so shit. The fuck. Fuggle knuckles. No. Then we torches out. Something definitely just went running by. I have no idea what. Oh. Okay. Take the control for me. Bloody. What did all this? Firstly, it had to come from somewhere. It came from somewhere in here already, I would say. But where, I have no idea. Oh, how much I want to slap the gamma up, or at least have a freaking better torch! But whatever this thing was... Either the wood was really, really bad and rotty as hell, or it's really strong and big. Okay. Uh, I was just saying that way wrong before getting the crap scared out of me at random points. Yeah, I haven't played any other Resident Evils except number one. This one caught my eye because of the interview video. And since I had been playing uh, Man of Medan, which is more a point and click kind of horror type thing, story. And then the hope, I was like, I'll give this a try because it looked pretty good. I know it's not going to be a, uh, a point of friction. Hell am I? Whoa. So, I think it would be pretty interesting to play. I'll admit, I was fine with the, the, the point and click thing from the other two games. Uh, Mad Maiden and Little Hope. So... This is kind of bumping up on a few notches. I don't mind shootings and stuff. I generally really don't play FPS type games anymore. Sliding! It's 
that time of day it's the colors in my eyes are just going I'm struggling to understand what I'm seeing oh this horse is dead as a boat doorknob eggies Let me go through it An easy to pick lock. Oh. Uh, I have a family photo. Oh, I can examine it. My dead wife and my baby. Nothing on it. Okay, okay, so we have an easy pick lock. We need to possibly find picks. Food appears to be still steamy. Well, recently here? Well, that's all fucked up. Y'all seen that, didn't you? I'm not adventuring there yet. <laughs> there is things to search. Cages. Open cages. Fuck. Or cage pens. Relax. Need some kind of other item. Oh, at least the pulley bit. The handle. It's an outdoor loo! What the fuck? I don't know what I'm looking at! <gasps> I want to turn the torch on. I need to see. This bit was the bit where I seen that thing going that way. Or something going that way, should I say. Let's see, is there anything? Nah, nothing. Let's get our feetsies moving. Lovely. Goat's head. What happened? I have no idea, but somebody's left this tractor on. <sighs> Not creepy at all. Not waking my brain out. Not waking my brain out. Actually, that's a lie. I'm sitting. My brain is about 3,000 miles an hour. What's this? Locked you to missing homeowner. Okay, dokie. Homeowner is missing. Chickens. And it's locked. Well, they got animal pens. Yeah, 
playing this in the dark would be much better, especially with my kind of like TV. We're getting reflections from daylight. It's not very easy to try and hide the daylight in the hallway. I can still play it, it just might see me going. <sighs> Some force could break this. I have feet. Can't we just kick it? Can we just mash it with a Shit. Okay. <laughs> Whatever it was is blocked the door now. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> a knife. Alarmed. Harassed. That kind of also means that someone's probably going to be attacking me. <gasps> Yay! First aid! <sighs> yeah. I got a bad feeling about this already. Did they just run out of the house? It would appear so. It would appear everybody's ran out of their homes. Shit's gone down. Gonna skip that because it's kind of flaking out. Gonna need to look at the settings and shit. I'll do that after this. That's quite frustrating. As you can tell, I'm not doing very good. Yeah, I can only two moments here. It's kind of floor around here. Uh, I'm done again. There you go. Wow. Yeah, I'm over. <laughs> I'm massively over. Why 
that is taking up so much. I drove that. See how that goes. Cranked it down a bit more. Characters can be only changed from the main menu. Really? Okie dokie. Just gonna leave it then. On that. Well. I think I'm going to leave that just now for part two, because obviously the, the issues with the, the little cutscenes. And uh, we will catch you back again with part three, and hopefully I will fix the, the cutscene issues. You can see it looked like the video rim and all that was certainly being sucked big time, so that could be a possible issue there. So. I hope you enjoyed, obviously, what you've seen so far, by obviously the current issues, and I will catch you again with part three. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.